Welcome back to the Alan Phillips channel. This is part two of the patio heater repair. Uh, in the first video, I went over how to identify if any of the components have failed in your unit. So if you left that video wondering, well, I don't have continuity in my dump switch, or can you tell me if my thermocoupler has failed? Uh, this video will cover how to install those two pieces, and I'll post a link in the bottom of where to find those really easily. Here's the two pieces that come in the kit. Uh, you get your dump switch with a sensor inside. You can hear the ball rolling around, so if your unit falls over, it breaks continuity, it shuts off the propane, so you hopefully don't have a fire on your patio. Uh, the other piece is the thermocoupler. So this is the probe that sits right over the pilot flame. So when you start your propane heater up, uh, the flame heats the tip and it sends a signal to the switch to allow the propane to actually come on uh, full blast inside the main unit of the center housing. So let's get the head taken off the stand and we'll bring it over here to the workbench and it'll be easier to work on that way. So the easiest way to get this apart, I covered it in the first video, is to take off these four screws around the base here and we're gonna unhook, uh, unscrew the gas line that goes down to the tank uh, in the bottom. So there's a, a line that runs all the way up this shaft and then right under here um, it's a I believe it's a three quarters fitting and we'll just unscrew that and then we'll take this whole top unit off to the workbench so we can work on it easier. Alright so at this point we have the heater head off the stand we have the screen off of the burner section and now we're exposing what we need to work on. Uh, the dump switch is right here on the side of the unit that comes off with two Phillips screws. Uh, the little one is part of the new one, so we're gonna leave that on. Just unscrew this from the bracket. And the two wires that are coming off top and the bottom uh, those we can put them back in the same spot but it shouldn't matter because all this is doing is creating a circuit so when the ball sits in the cup of this unit it makes sure that the energy can flow through uh, the two connections and complete the circuit so simple as that screw it right back in where we got it from This portion would be good to go. So if your unit was coming on, I'm sorry, if your unit was not coming on at all, like you couldn't even get the pilot to come on, more than likely um, if you cleaned out the tube and made sure you had propane going to the head, uh, more than likely this was probably the culprit. So this is supposed to be your fail safe, like I mentioned earlier. If the whole unit gets tipped over in the wind or what have you, uh, you don't want it obviously burning on the ground. Uh, that would cause some problems. Now, if your issue was your thermocoupler, um, these two leads that we just plugged back in are from the thermocoupler. So if your dump switch was fine and you just had to replace your thermocoupler, you would just unplug these. So, um, the end of it screws in right here to the main portion that goes through the center that's tied to the switch. Like I mentioned, if the thermocoupler is not reading the flame, it won't let you go to um, high to start the burner at the top. A five, I'm sorry, this is a five sixteenths wrench. You can remove this end of the thermocoupler, and that's just the fitting that goes in the end there. And then right here is like a little spring clip. That's what holds it. Kind of want to take note of how it's lined up here, right over your pilot gas tube. 
it just remove it like so don't lose that and then we'll just feed it down through the bottom and there you have it so i was reading online usually when these will fail i don't know if you guys can see that but the tip has a, a tiny hairline crack um, when the end of this gets cracked, it doesn't get a good reading on when the flame is on it. Kind of like your flame sensor on a furnace. So if you've cleaned it, tried to save it, doesn't work, um, just buy this kit. I mean, they send you a brand new one. You can tell the difference. It's got a nice new end on it. And we'll just put it back on how it came off. Feed it through the bottom. There's a little groove uh, I don't know, two thirds of the way down from this, this enlarged collar, it sits in that slot. So you just to keep the bent part towards you, tuck the straight end of the V underneath that little clasp in the back and then just wrap it around, hook it there. And then just, like I said, make sure it's lined up right over where the pilot comes through so it can, oops. Actually, let's get that in the right spot. bending it and it pops off. There we go. So that's right over there where the pilot flame will be. And then just in reverse order, screw this in first. Just snug, don't go crazy with it. Break that off and you gotta buy another one. And reattach the lines like that and then we'll reassemble it, make sure it works. And just reassemble the unit, how you took it apart and you're ready to go. Uh, one thing to note, if you're heat selector switch here uh, isn't going in and out freely like this you probably want to pull this off and make sure you hit that with some WD-40 or silicone lubricant uh, this selector needs to go in and out freely or you won't be able to light it and then go to um, your heat if it gets stuck in when you're on pilot you can't turn it while it's pushed in so it's got to be able to release and come down so that's uh that's it for this video uh if you guys liked it please comment subscribe i uh, really appreciate it and on this video i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers so every tier of 100 so next tier when this video comes out will be 400 i'll give one of these um, packages or replacement parts away so if you guys need one uh just comment below um hey send me one and every 100 video or 100 subscribers, like I said, uh, we'll give one away at 400, 500, all the way to 1,000. So I really appreciate your guys' support and uh, I'm trying to get the channel to 1,000 subscribers. So thanks. Have a good day.